So I will give you a rundown of the tools you'll need. I got the 19 mil hex, probably some chisels to get the hub off. You need a 17 to get your wheel bolts off. 19 mil for the brake caliper. Break a bar if you got it, or just an extension on a ratchet will work. Uh, the hammers to get the bearing back in the hub. You'll need a jack. You also need some stands, obviously. I got a compressor and impact gun and a big horse in the background. Her name's Oakley. Let's get to it. All right, so this is what you're gonna need. A giant ass Allen key, 19 mil. And now it's easier to break it while the weight is on the tire and the axle. As you can see, it takes a little bit of force and I got it cracked. So YouTube, this is what we're doing. We're taking this bolt out here and we're gonna take this one out here. My correction, it is 21 mil and that will take this whole caliper piece off. And then we will be attempting to get at this one, this one, and then this one. Here's another one over here. We're gonna pull those out partially and then use a punch to punch the bearing out hopefully that works oh and don't forget to take your axle nut out and this little triple square or torque for the actual rotor all right update on the wheel bearing it's going uh we got stuck on the bottom caliper bolt it was seized in there pretty good. Don't be silly and uh, forget to turn your wheel because I was trying to get my tools in there and it just wasn't working. Turn the wheel first, it makes it a lot easier. And then uh, we're gonna clean up the bolt and the threads because it looks very corroded. I did get uh, some wire brushes, so make sure you have some brushes of some sort. And um, we'll get to the rest of it. Oh, I also compacted the caliper, uh, brake caliper. I just kind of crushed it a little bit, slowly, on the pad. And um, hopefully we can just slide this off. As you can see, we got the rotor off. We got the um, shitty splash guard thing that rotted out. Uh, I'm about to put some bolts through here, maybe one here and one here, and uh, have another bolt on the back, hold it with a wrench, and then try to uh, like kind of pull this off. We'll see if that works.
I got it. The bolt worked. No puller needed. Yeah, I'm gonna, I have to let this stuff sit a little bit. Kind of get in there. I did clean up the outside of this and sprayed some penetrating fluid. All right, guys, so as you've seen, we got the um, the hub off. The race was a bitch. I tried one method, which was using the impact with a socket and spinning, spinning the whole bearing with a torch to try to get this to unseat and pop off. I did it for like five, 10 minutes. Couldn't get it to unseat or pop off. So if you look, I did big ass X in it and uh, tried to chisel it like downwards to get it off. Didn't really work. I don't have a vise, obviously. I'm working with like ground, but, but um, I kind of got defeated and then Babe came along and just kind of pounded on it with the chisel and it cracked it. I don't know if you can see the crack. Let's go this way. Uh, yeah, there's a crack along this main one there, that one there. And, um, after that, yeah, it just kind of slid off. I cleaned it up, put it in the freezer. So hopefully that I can put the, the hub onto the new bearing. That one's just sitting in the sun, so it should be nice and warm and kind of expanded. And hopefully I can just kind of tap it on there without a press. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, now I'm going to go and conquer this. I'll probably set you guys up so you can see. Gotta get in there, get these out. I've been letting it soak, so we'll see how it goes. So it's been like two days and we finally got this bitch off. Um, there it is there. It's all nice and clean. I will post a picture of what it looked like before. Super corroded. I had to invest in this to get this off. I tried to go from the back with a bolt and punch the bolt through and kind of, you know, make it come out. Did not work, so I end up literally just punching it from the inside. I don't know where the mark is. Right there. Right here. Smashed it from that side till my compressor was empty and then did it on the other side till my compressor was empty and then I was able to actually get a punch in there and got it off. I did not record it because it was after work and this is after work. So I'll just set you up and you can watch me go at or put it back together. I'm gonna put a little bit of anti seize in here because it, it was nasty and then uh, away we go. No, I didn't know that either. I just I was that's why I didn't know because I thought everything with the teeth like I didn't know what Because like I said when we pulled it off it was fine. Uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe
bolt there, so we're gonna have to turn it. So all we did is uh, we started the bolts in on the back before we put the hub in and then we just pop bolts and start spinning them with the hub held up there. Those uh, the long, the longer ones of these. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, I know it says header on it, so that kind of worries me, but I'm sure he's just using another box. Yeah. FYI, you might need one of these for the bottom one because there's a bolt and when you use the this beefy one, you can't get the whole socket in there because the bolt. I'll try to show it to you.
Uh, wheel bearing, axle torque, and wheel bearing torque spec for the wheel bearing. Generally, jam nuts less than two and five eighth inch should be torqued to two hundred to three hundred <clears throat> pound foot. Uh, I don't use Google. That's fucking. I hate torques. It's like right there. I don't want to try to tighten that and flip it. Here we go. Got her back together, ladies and germs. We will go for a test drive, make sure it's not going. But uh, it's pretty straightforward putting it back together. As long as you're the one that took it apart, you kind of know where everything goes. Um, make sure you clean out the, the caliper bolts, the aluminum side. It is super corroded, so I didn't clean it out before I put the bolts in. So just make sure you do that. And um, yeah, hopefully that helped you out a little bit. Bickford's RS3. Peace out. That's what the old bearing looked like. Pretty grody. I'd say that was the culprit. <laughs>